first to face the fire of the dragons is French entrepreneur Sylvain Premont, who believes he has a mini product with maximum potential. So the first reaction most people have is they find it amazing, they find it so surprising, they have a feeling of, hey, the future is now. But will the dragon see a future in his business idea? Hi, Dragons. My name is uh, Sylvain Premont. Um, I'm here today to offer you 15% of my company in return for £80,000. Uh, MiniU is the ultimate selfie, and you know how people love selfies these days. So how does this work? Well, people come in our 3D scanning booths. Uh, they get scanned, they get uh, taken 60 pictures each and every angle, all at once. And then our technology analyzes those pictures, stitch them together for 3D printing. We can do it in a chocolate, a metal. Uh, we call it scandal, which is basically a candle. We have done that for three years. Uh, we have partnered with Selfridges, Harvey Nichols, and also with Le Bon Marché in Paris. And with your investment, what I want to do is to spin off that business from my current company into a dedicated company. So I will definitely uh, welcome your questions. But before that, I wanted to show you what we're talking about more closely. An intriguing pitch from London-based Sylvain Premont. Pick up one who wants a sizable £80,000 investment to help launch a new miniature model business. In return, he's offering a 15% stake. Chocolate? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. No, don't tell me. Scandal. Online innovator Nick Jenkins may have made his fortune in the personalised greeting cards business, but will he see similar potential in Sylvain's statue selfies? What kind of a person wants a statue of themselves? Because I don't want a statue of myself. I mean, God, you know, I don't even like having a photograph taken, let alone a <laughs> statue. That would be an ugly thing to have on my desk. But, I, you know, I, wouldn't, I mean, I'd be mortified if anyone gave me Isn't a statue. Some people might want that of you. The, the, the market of people who want a statue of me is small. <laughs> Take that from me. <laughs> right? but... <laughs> I'm concerned about the market. A lot of people would have maybe the same reaction like yourself, like, oh, I don't want to see myself like that. But a lot of people and think the exact opposite. I want that. That's cool. That's different. That's new. We've seen people returning and doing another one. And we have been uh, successfully producing almost 2,000 of them, selling for 150 pounds. People come and do that for special events in life when they are maybe pregnant because they want to remember what they were at that moment. OK. This is very clever, by the way. Uh, I mean, it is, it is. I'm very impressed with the, with the, with the printing of it. Mm, the colour, less so, but the actual the, the accuracy, it's fantastic. The entrepreneur believes there's a demand for his lifelike miniatures. Now, Tuka Suleiman wants to understand how his 3D printing business works. Who owns the scanner? Me. You own the scanner? Well, the company, yeah. The company. Whoever invests, does the scanner come into it or there's a yes, separate of course. business? No, of course. When, when, when I will spin off and create that new company, I will put in everything I have. When you say spin off, I mean, you have another company as well? Yeah, at the moment, uh, iMaker, the logo you see here, is the company I'm running for like the last three years, selling 3D printers. What's the turnover of that company? Uh, that company, uh, I mean, I'm not into uh, offering that company. No, but if know. I'm investing in you, yeah. I just want to know. It's uh, uh, not that big. It has a physical store and it has a website selling 3D printers. Related to Mini, you will be put you in there. my question. I'm sorry, but this is bizarre. Really? You're, <laughs> you're, you've got a company that has a printing business yes. for 3D. You're selling the printing capability to do this. You're offering us nothing. Because basically, I could go to your company tomorrow 
buy the printer, oh, hire yeah. somebody for 40,000 and own 100% of the company. But the printer that you need to do this is not one of those that I sell. The printer you need to do this costs 70,000 pounds. It's yeah. a different type of things. Understand? Yeah, but you're asking me for 80,000 for 15%. Of a business that of, is... of a business that doesn't yet exist. So I could still buy the printer myself. I could do all of this myself. Yeah. Technically. Yeah, yeah that's great. But thanks for telling me. So I don't need you then now. The revelation that anyone can own the 3D technology manufacturing Sylvain's models raises a red flag in the den. He's already been reluctant to answer a question about the turnover of his printing company. Now, Deborah Meaden wants transparency on the model business he's here to pitch. C can I just understand the profile of your sales? So you've had three years. Yes. And what was your profit? The problem is it's not easy for me to give you an answer for that because, as you understand, it was not a separate business. It was part of an existing business. Yeah, but so for you to, when you separate a business out, you've got to be able to say that is the value of the business that I am separating out. OK. Uh, that's all I'm asking you. This is not a trick question. It's not even a... Well, it shouldn't be a difficult question. I've generated in the past three years, that's your question. Um, let's say... Anywhere between 50 and 100,000 pounds? I, I'm not... I'm not... You can't throw your arms in the air and say, whoa, maybe no, between no, sorry, 50 I mean... and 100,000 pounds. Give me an answer. The best guess I can give you is probably 50,000 over the past. £50,000 over three years or £50,000 a year? Uh, uh, over the three years. So, Just to be fair. 15000 you know, 16000 know, a to year. To be fair, no, I don't want to, obviously, as that you... That was incredibly painful. Yeah, sorry about that. What you're basically saying is it generates fifteen to £16,000 profit a year. Yeah. Sylvain's on a collision course with Deborah Meaden over how turnover is split between sales of his scanning business and sales of his 3D models. There's nothing that exasperates the dragons more than an entrepreneur who is unclear about what he's bringing to the table. But now there's some clarity on the numbers. Can Sarah Willingham find a money-making opportunity in Mini U? So you own the scanner, you don't own the printer, you don't own any technology, you are selling the idea of us to invest in a business which has a relationship with Selfridges, Harvey Nicks and Le Bon Marché. That's, that's it currently. Yeah, I mean, plus all the, yeah. Is that worth the additional £500,000 that you've put on the valuation? Um, that's what I believe. But what I think, and the reason why I'm here today, is because with your expertise, your network, your marketing, and my technical expertise and experience, together, that makes something that works. So, but, Sylvain, you see, I think you've just explained why we add half a million pounds yeah, worth yeah, of I value. I'm not entirely sure why you <laughs> add half a million pounds worth of value, because you've just explained exactly what this business needs, which is with us, pointing to one of us, with yep. our expertise uh -huh. and our marketing and our exposure and all the things we can bring. So what, what, what I do is I make that happen. I'm... You make what happen? You, you get our money? Yeah, yeah. You, the you, added you, value you... is coming from this side of the room, not that side of the room. So I'm really sorry, Sylvain, but I won't be investing. I'm out. Summary dismissal from a damning Deborah Meaden. Will the rest of the den give a deal equally short shrift? I don't believe that selling portraits of yourself on 3D printing is a business that I think warrants two people. If you want to make this into a larger scale, I don't think it's viable. For that reason, I'm out. I'm going to tell you where I am very quickly. I can't see, I can't get, I can't get past where the real value in the, in the business lies. So I'm out. Sarah Willingham joins Tuka Suleiman in walking away from an investment. Will gifting supremo Nick Jenkins be any more willing to put his money into Sylvain's models? So with a lot of personalised things, it can all be done over the internet because we have photographs. We have photographs that contain memories. And it's all, all about memories. And with the 3D scanning thing, it's just about 
me. And I have a real issue with the size of, with the size of the market because it takes away, it strips away the most important thing about personalized goods, which is it's about bringing back memories. And you can't recreate that in a scanning booth. So I'm afraid for that reason, funky though I think this is, um, it's a, too limited to invest in, so I, I'm out. Four dragons out. Only Peter Jones remains. Can he set aside his earlier concerns to form a printing partnership? I have a slightly different view to Nick. You know, I'd you'd love one of those. I'd yourself, love one of those of yeah. myself. Um, <laughs> I'd like no, one of you too, Peter. And, yeah. and I know a few other people that would oh, too. Four at least. But, no, but yeah. um, <laughs> I'm sitting here as an owner of a, a photography business, thinking I wonder if that sort of thing, low cost of entry trial in a few stores, we could put sort of a photo booth style scanner in the stores and see whether it was kind of work. And that's very much what I was looking for, exactly. Yeah. But the issue to me is actually, it's more about you. Okay. You invest in an idea with the person. And what you've done is you've said, you bring more to the party, Dragon. And I think that's where you went wrong today. And that's the reason why I'm not going to invest and say I'm out. Merci. Merci. Bon Au revoir. Courage. Thank you. Peter Jones's final refusal sees Silva exit with nothing. His complex business structure failing to win over the dragons. They wanted those numbers. I didn't want to give them the numbers. Um, you know. Then it's gotten worse and worse, and then it's very hard to go back from the bottom up when you've done so bad in the beginning. <laughs>